Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be on Eclipse. It is game three between Mars and Bate, and Bate needs to win this one to stay alive to get into the round of four of BSL. If Mars wins this, he advances. He's the pink Terran, upper left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner. We have Bate as the, I don't know what to call this color. It's not white precisely. It's like a, and it's not gray precisely either. It is a whitish green. I don't know. You guys tell me what color it is. That'll that'll be my commentary fodder. My commentary? My comment fodder for today is check out the comments. So, not sure what day this is released. Uh, last one was a quick one. That was, I think that was the May the 4th cast. Yeah, so this is what, <laughs> so getting an announcement. It looks like we're seeing something cheesy from Bate because he has not built, okay, he does have a pylon in his base. Never mind. he's just going for an early scout on Mars. He wants to make sure he has eyes on what Mars is doing. It's also possible that he's going to go for two gate opener and he wants to make sure probe gets in the base so that he can kind of do a breach here, supply depot along the south side of Mars command center. And we'll see if he puts the barracks right here or up here. Um, hmm? Holding short. Interesting. So the probe holding short, not going in the base quite yet. He does have a gateway down now. Interesting. Kind of curious why that probe hesitated. Maybe it was just kind of a misclick. So yeah, there's the barracks. Let's try to provide some defense. Yeah, he's going... Oh, this might be a cannon rush. Are we seeing a cannon rush? Did Mars see it? I don't think Mars saw it. Never mind. Now he's going to go into vision space. Getting a gas deal. Okay, so he's just wanting that gas deal. So probably going to go Zealot Heavy to start. What this does is this slows down Terran tech, first of all. Opens up a lot of build orders for your Protoss opponent. Forces Terran into uh, more... It forces Terran to do a lot of things, but one big thing is is to play more marine heavy to start and pushes you away from those two gateway openers, the FD rushes, things like that. Three SCVs already working on that assimilator. We do see gas here and a first zealot being built, so I'm almost wondering if Bate is just going to send out that single zealot, maybe two, and bring Dragoons otherwise. Sometimes you can win outright with this build order if you can just micro your way through it. Second supply depot being built to create, I assume, a diff, uh, additional blockade space for the Marines to wander through. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a second gas deal. First Marine out. Might be some space and time to do so. That SCV going to, or sorry, that probe going to steal some gas. That's always a fun thing. Is able to take it out. Now working on that assimilator. First salt making his way across Mars, trying to bring his SCV up. The gateway is quiet, so it looks like he's going to wait for a cybernetic score and a Dragoon to follow this up. But this is going to be one Zealot. So usually it's like three Marines is where you're safe with some support. And this is going to be already trying to get the bunker on the low ground. Wow, with two Marines back here like this, this is really ballsy from Mars. Maybe because of that scout not seeing anything to support. Okay, so there's that third Marine, but still might end up losing several of them. Nice micro on Bate thus far, and a little bit of miss micro from Mars. So, so this is kind of that. If I was going to say, that, oh, two Marines down, might even get the third. Zealots taken out, almost got the third. And honestly, I feel if there are additional Zealots, that might have been game. And this Zealot still might be able, with just these two Marines and one of them heavily damaged, might be able to get run by in a scout. Nice sneaky SCV in that corner from Mars. Probably wants to get additional scouting information. And I almost feel like if Bate had built a second Zealot, instead of kind of pausing right there, he might, he might have been able to win the game. Critical thing with this SCV is he might be able to see that, oh, is that probe going to see it though? He does see it. <laughs> nice try trying to be sneaky in that corner. He's going to see if there's an expansion being built to follow this up, and I think that SCV has forfeited his life in that attempt to be clever. Maybe. Oh, is he going to get into the main and get the scout? What a hero. What a hero. He even dove in to get a look at the gateway count. Citadel of a Dune off one gateway. So I'm wondering if we're seeing DTs. This this has all the indicator of Nexus DT drop or just straight up Dark Templar uh, build to follow. Gas is up. You have three SCVs on gas. No factory to speak of. Command center being built. Mars still playing this a little bit more economically aggressive. Second SCV wants to make his way across. He's going to see this. I assume he can spot this Nexus, but even spotting this... This is going to be the big indicator here, is coming across and not seeing any additional units on the front. Oh, and he sneaks through! Wow. Everything going right for Mars in this round. He sees the Cybernetic score. He sees the Citadel. 
And I believe, yeah, he sees that Templar Archives building, so he's going to be well prepared for this attack. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there are a lot of indicators that we're going to be there anyway, which is the lack of Dragoons on the front, etc., etc. First Dark Templar being produced. Engineering Bay about halfway finished. So, yeah, I think there should be turrets and other things in space, plus mines and vultures to cope with anything else. Mars. So despite the gas deal right at the start, in a strong position, he's looking for proxy just in case. Just in case there are additional gateways, like, somewhere out here, out in the field. Range is not even finished, so basically Bate can't even assault the front with the usual Dragoon harass with range. I feel like Bate has kind of... Part of it is is it's been Mars just seizing advantages and doing a fantastic job in that regard, but I feel like... Things have kind of just gone... How do I put this? Bad luck? Bad luck for Bate? Uh, here and there as well. One critical thing is, is this Dark Templar, until those vultures have speed, sometimes can provide you a little bit of map control. Another SCV sneaking out to go ahead and check that third base, because that's a way that Bate might be able to sneak into this, is just cut production, go for an additional Nexus. But it's up to, yeah, it's up to Bate to try to do something to get back into this. Zealot's trying to drag those mines into that bunker, and but this is a real skeleton crew to do this with. Ends up taking a hit on his DT and losing his Dragoon. He has nothing right now. Oof. He's nothing to work with. And another SCV scout manages to make its way in. This, yeah, nothing going right for Bate in these games. Oof. Oof, oof. This is rough. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Mars has all of the options in the world right now. These SEVs, I gotta say, something about Mars's SEVs, they're just like extra heroic somehow. They're like, you know what? We are going to do whatever it takes. We're gonna sacrifice our lives. We're gonna wait in the bushes, or I guess equivalent to that. We're gonna hide behind this mineral line, keeping our head low and our eyes sharp for the moment where we can sacrifice our lives and go in and see what's going on, right? Two, <laughs> two more Dragoons being produced. Four Dragoons right now, Debate's name. And now I think he just has to go for additional Nexuses. Nexa Nexus? Has to go for those additional Nexus. Hashtag Nexus. To get back into it. But unfortunately for him, Mar is already anticipating this. And he's got a Vulture waiting. Which is going to slow that down even further. So not only everything going wrong for Mars. Everything going right for Bate and flooding those Vultures through. And I think Bate, yeah, a little bit... Playing a little bit frustrated now. And I would be too, to be honest. Even a mine got plopped down like last second and did some damage on that DT. More vultures making their way across. And honestly, it's going to take everything for Bate just to... Even trying to take a, th a third right now, he just doesn't have the troops to do it. Dark Templar is going to try to kill this vulture. There are no mines left to, to kind of counter this. and so it might. But, but even then, it can just scoot away. <clears throat> just kidding. It's going to die by running right back into the Dark Templar. Mines planted right there. And you would need an observatory, which is going to take some time to get. So basically, more delays, more delays, more delays on trying to take an additional base. Bate is floating minerals to try to take a Nexus, but I don't think he can do so. So instead, it looks like what he's opt what he has opted to do. Probe getting killed again, blockaded by his own DT, and blocked out of that third. So what he's opted to do instead is to try to get an Arbiter. Hon honestly, at this stage, I think you just got to plop down your gateways and try to go Gateway Man with some sort of beautiful recall and hope for the best. I don't know. Arbiter being built... But Mars, honestly, can do whatever he wants. He's just floating a safe command center out to the 12 o'clock. I think he could have just plopped down and built it just straight out. Um, so I'm not going to say he missed an opportunity there, but I don't know. Wep level 1 weapons being upgraded. He's got very comfortable amount of tanks and vultures on his front door. You can see just the mine spread he has out on the map. Finally, an observer is here to clear these mines and maybe finally deal with this vulture at the 9 o'clock and go ahead and take that third base. DT wandering up, able to still taking the hit. Kills two vultures, but honestly that's not what you want to get. You wanted to get some SEV kills or some tank kills. That's a happy trade for Mars. Like, you lose a vulture to kill a DT, I think most turns will take that any day. That's basically minerals for gas, right? Building a bunker here at the 12 o'clock, just in case. Not even sure he needs it, though. Uh, one critical thing here for Mars, though, is he has not plopped down a lot of additional factories. And despite everything really going his direction, he's not kept up with his macro as well as he maybe possibly could have. So overall, he's actually even in the probe SCV count, even though he will be mining off three bases and is just a little bit behind in the overall supply count. 
So as dire as things looked for Bate, comparatively, Bate, just because of Mars kind of uh, flagging a little bit in his macro, still might be able to sneak back into this. He's got some Dragoons. He's got that 12 o'clock building. He's got an Arbiter shortly. I think there might already be an Arbiter somewhere on the map that I don't know. He's got a lot of gateways being plopped down. He's got a lot of tech. He will get this third established. It looks like that Observer... Oh, is he going to lose it? Loses that. But knows that 12 is up. He really can't do anything about it, though. The Arbiter with the Dragoons can provide a little bit of latent defense. But here's the thing. I'm looking at Mars. Yeah, he has three bases. But I don't see the... For having three bases, because of the low factory count, I don't see a lot of the tanks he should have at this stage of the game. We're looking at 10 minutes. He's had three bases very comfortably for a long period of time, and he still hasn't plopped down additional factories. I'm wondering if he's going to do so now. It feels... I don't know. My observatory sense is saying that this is somewhat late. Science facility being plopped down. Level 1 weapons is going to be up. Recall is being upgraded. So Bate, I'm not going to say... It. So, I'm, so as things... As dire as things looked... For Bate early. He does have a 10 supply lead. He's got a lot of tech. He does have his third. Being even on bases is not where you want to be. But the luck the lucky thing for him is that has not translated. He doesn't know this either, keep in mind. The lucky thing for him is that has not translated into what usually would be a superior unit count in a lot of heavy tech units. Level 1 weapons is upgraded. Looks like Charon Booster is being upgraded, perhaps realizing that an Arbiter and Recall could be game-ending. Third gas up, Photon Cannon to deal with those Vultures. And I'm wondering if this Observer is going to try to clear this out and go ahead and allow Bate to take his fourth. I got to give kudos to Bate despite everything. Despite everything going wrong for him at this stage of the match. Also, I want to point out EMP being um, upgraded to try to deal with that. Vulture is not getting a lot accomplished with these, these cloaked Dragoon forces out in the field. Bate has managed to... Keep a calm head, keep his macro up, and he's actually got a tech lead, a macro lead somehow, and is looking good in the mid game. So it goes to show, hang in there. Uh, hang in there, and sometimes it works out. Tanks gathering up to siege, kind of piling in the middle there. That's two. This is still just two control groups, third control group of massive zealots right there. I think leg speed has already been upgraded. Stasis is on its way. Level 1 Weapons is on its way. Bate, I think, mostly just needs to do containment right here. Because now Mars' army is looking a little bit more a little bit more scary. He's trying to spread out and provide a little bit more of a, a defensive stance. He does have more factories now. And this is where... And I'm almost wondering what I want to see is another machine shop or two. <clears throat> Specifically, well, one more machine shop. To get that tank count a little bit higher. Because I feel like that's really where... Because what is this? This is uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10 tanks. And one good stasis, and a handful of zealots getting in the wrong place at the right time. And that those tanks are gone, right? Um, or a good recall on that back corner, yeah. It feels like that tank count might be a little bit too low for this stage. There's the recall across that natural. Are we going to see another? Wow. Zealots getting on top of that. And EMP is going to catch a lot of that, but that's going to move across. There's going to be no follow-up. I think this is... Is Bate going to go for another recall? He doesn't have the energy for it. So, going to be able to detect a lot of this, but that's a lot of SCVs getting wiped at the natural. He's going to lose an Arbiter. He's going to lose some of these attack forces. I think he's going to be able to disrupt a little bit of mining. Unfortunately, I don't think he accomplished as much as he was really hoping to in that attack. And, oof. This is kind of brutal, because this is one of those things where I think if he had recalled at a different position, that might have been a, a more potent attack. Just kidding. Another recall at the main. So, he did manage to get the energy, get some more Dragoons, more Zealots here on the main. And now is disrupting mining there. This is the position you want to be in. Let's see if you can swing around and get on top of the factories. Science vessel moving out. Is it? Yeah, it gets taken out. It's gonna. There is plenty of comsat to detect this, but when you have to piecemeal through your own Sim city to, to fight this, it's gonna be very very frustrating. So now Mars down to 47 SCVs. And I gotta say, Bate is gonna lose uh, units out of this, but he's right back in this match. He's exactly where you kind of want to be not precisely where you want to be you want to be winning right at this stage but he's not in a position where he's losing he's in a position where the tanks and the vultures are kind of out of position they're kind of like scattered across the map he's not ultra well he might be behind in the upgrade no he's even in the upgrade count another arbiter moving out to the 12 o'clock this could be a big drop there's a lot of turrets there though 
Can that Arbiter make it through? It doesn't have the energy to do recall just yet. We'll try to keep an eye there. But Bate has managed to seal that fourth base. So now he's, he's up a base. He's disrupted some mining at the natural and the main and reduced the SCV count uh, considerably. He does have a sizable standing army. I think Mars, yeah, I think Mars saw that Arbiter. And so he's moving his army up into that corner to try to deal with it. Probe's transferring while all that's happening. This is the thing, Bate drawing a lot of those units up, Mars needs to be a little bit careful about his the rest of his base because his tanks are very out of position. And that Arbiter, again, could get a nice stasis on this ramp, could do a lot of things. Oh, nope, he's going to dive right in. Gets a recall on the high ground. Two tanks getting taken out. He does have the high ground advantage here. That bunker going to get taken out fairly rapidly. But once again, going to peel in, try to disrupt mining, and wow. I think Bate might actually take this match out. Simply because he is macroing like a beast. Take a look at the supplies in the upper right hand corner, continuing to disrupt Mars's supply and Mars's tanks. The, the critical thing is, is will Bate be able to deal with the ever-growing tank count now? So level two weapons, level one armor have kicked in. So now that upgrade advantage is there for Mars. And that will be the big difference. And ooh, this is kind of a scary point. I don't see a large gathered army. So there's a big army here. There's an army here, but Mars has a sizable mech army that he might just want to unsiege and dive into Bate's front. And unless he had it gathered and had a really nice... The thing is, yeah, going gateway man like that, or even with the Arbiters on the field, you need to get a good engagement on your Terran opponent. You can't just rely on A moving into them. Observers seeing that army in position. Looks like he's setting up to do just that. This is, I think this might be the deciding, the deciding engagement of the match. Zealots clearing on top of the vultures, trying to clear mines right there. Arbiter actually cleaning some mines. Mars sieging. Good stasis on a lot of those tanks. Now can the Dragoons get past kind of this split? This is a nice setup location for Mars, though. The Zealots sweeping along to the left, getting right on top of the tank. The Arbiter has been taken out on the right. And I think he was able to wipe out this entire army. And Bate seizing a huge advantage now in the mid game. Or late game, I should say. Looking to be late game. Dragoon's continuing to peel forward, moving into siege tanks. He needs to have something gathered for when the stasis finishes to go ahead and clear that out. But yeah, he's cleared out the entire mech army. And he has, and I think this is going to give him time for level 2 weapons, level uh, 1 armor to kick in. And that is going to reduce Mars' upgrade advantage, continuing to attack forward with these units. Needs to be a little bit careful. It has managed to pick off that science vessel. These siege tanks quickly getting wiped out. In the background, that is giving about a 20-30 supply lead to Bate. Mars trying to sneak back into this by, by sneakily taking a 1 o'clock position expansion. But Bate has already managed to grab another expansion of his own. So Bate, through some perseverance, he's got a huge bank too. Look at that. 2,000 minerals to go ahead and rebuild all of this. And again, kind of sparing tanks out uh, for Mars. He has plopped down a third machine shop, and that is going to be critical. I think Mars just needs to sneak out, and I, I think this is too much territory for Mars to cover with the amount of stuff he's got. He's playing a little bit greedy here just in the positional game. Shout out to BSL here. You got the nice cool BSL thing on the minimap overall. And I think Bate realizes it. He is pushing up to the one o'clock location. I think yeah, I, I think with that engagement, that would have not that wouldn't have been great for him. I'm hoping he realizes though that with this army. This is the thing, is it's like, we see all this, right? But they don't necessarily see all this. They don't know where they're at, necessarily. He doesn't know how thin this is. Mars is actually going with the drop. Glad I kind of peeked this corner. To perhaps go ahead and, and kill a couple, kill something. Um, this pylon wall, you might be able to take out that base just cleanly. Dragoon camping that upper left-hand base in case Mars tries to sneak that. Is he going to see the mini-map? I, I think there was a moment where he could have picked that up on the mini-map. And unfortunately, a lot of probes are being transferred this direction right in time to maybe get bushwhacked. Ugh, that's unfortunate. So, probes versus tanks is not the fight you want. Yeah, getting dropped. Mars, let's see if I can take this wrong one. There's the one. So we can go ahead and see the tanks scooching up and doing their thing. One of them wandering into the cannon line. The, most of the probes got out. And the Zealot should be able to walk right through and clean this up. So actually not as bad, so it disrupts a little bit of mining, but not as bad as it could have been. Bate working on a max army with that army out of position and a little bit of an overcommit. He is going to pick off that Arbiter. 
and maybe get a swing around. Let's see. I'm gonna try to push up for positioning. I'll try to bring that. Uh, there it is. Bring this one back up. Arbiter getting a nice stasis on that front area. Zealots on top of the siege tanks again. This is exactly where you want the Zealots. Nice defensive matrix to try to absorb some of that attack. The Dragoons piling forward. That Arbiter has been taken out now. But this stasis almost working like a barricade for Mars. Siege tanks gathering up. Is it going to be enough? I don't see any more army peeling up for Bate. So Mars picking his engagement point, And I think it might work out for him. More vultures sneaking up. Yeah, and the Dragoon's now in full flight. And that engagement swinging things back in Mars' favor, in my opinion. We'll see if that continues to be the case. Some observers, ooh, a lot of observers are going to get picked off as well. Two able to move back out of position. They're a little bit of a ball here. But here's the thing. At equalized production right here, and Mars having four bases producing, and that looks like that bottom right and corner still hasn't meshed back in. Zealot's trying to sneak up on top of that tank. Arbiter finally here. Mars overextending maybe a little bit, but he has some siege tanks providing some additional... This is a great engagement point for Mars, and Bate's just diving into it. Huge EMP, and Mars once again clears the field. He's now ahead in supply, ahead in production. And starting to mine this front door, things are looking dire for Bate. He, again, he will be eliminated if he loses this match. Arbiter poking away at those siege tanks, and this is... I think it's too little too late. I think he's going to be able to get it contained, if nothing else. Pure Vulture pressing forward. A lot of siege to clear the way. Siege tanks shortly behind. More mines being dropped. Oh, those mines did not blow up the tank. That was going to be a little bit close. And Oh, yeah. The main is breached. And this is where all of the gateway production is for Bate. An Arbiter overhead trying to wail on those tanks. Mars, honestly, can just back up. Maybe go for... Ooh, nice stasis. Maybe go for a soft contain. Nice stasis to try to keep things alive but more vultures now wandering out he's like okay i can't get the contain that's all right i'll just let you be distracted with all those units while i move these vultures in and go ahead and blow up your bases that are out here while i continue to mine happily so mains while this is all happening i'll just probably keep an eye on the action while this is all happening mains mined out secondary is or natural expansion is mined out or close to mined out for mars he is mining off two bases but he's in position to go ahead and take a third mains mined out naturals mined out this base is barely producing. This base is producing. So it's three base. So Bate, not in a terrible economic position, but in the overall supply count, he's still behind. And critically, it looks like he's in. A, he's going to probably lose this base. The Vulture's starting to wander in, take out pylons. Yeah, and those probes are going to get massacred. And there's nothing Bate can do but watch, I think. He's trying to move forward with these three Arbiters. A couple Goliaths there to provide some counterattack. Are we going to see a stasis on Goliaths? That's kind of a rarity. One Arbiter down. Zealots on top of the tanks once again. I think Mars is happy to make this exchange, though. Well, maybe he's happy to make this exchange. He wasn't able to take out that Nexus, so it looks like that is going to be a defense, but there's another sizable army gathering up from Mars in the background, and this army from Bate is out of position to try to engage it. A couple siege tanks were wailing there, and there's some Zealots there cleaning it up, but Bate really needs to have a concentrated attack to engage Mars where he's going, and unfortunately, Mars is keeping off balance and spreading his units everywhere on the map to where they really can't get a cohesive defense against what is diving into his now natural expansion. Nice army positional movement here by Mars. Dragoons on the front. They have no zealots in front. So everything bearing down. Some Goliaths to deal a huge EMP. EMP catching two of those Arbiters. The third ma managing to get a stasis off. And that stasis was the saving grace in my opinion. Yeah, that stasis is going to allow Bate to go ahead and clear this army up, but will it be able to stop the reinforcements is the next question. More reinforcements moving in. These Arbiters are out of energy, so it is up to the ground units to get it accomplished. Fierce battle. Both players wanting it. More Dragoons and Zealots providing support. And now Mars is spread a little bit too thin. He's got too few units, I think, to keep doing this. He's distance mining the upper left-hand corner, as you can see on the mini-map. Science Vessel's taken out, so he's going to have to rely on Comsat to try to finish this up. And yeah, he's just rallying too few units to try to, to clear out what he was trying to clear out. And Bate, once again, through some solid, honestly, miraculous defenses, staying in the match and honestly taking a little bit of a lead. Distance mining upper left and corner to try to take that base. So reestablishing the bottom right-hand corner. So he is still mining off three. Might be able to take a fourth right here. And now Mars is down to... 
two bases and has a lot of idle SCVs. So Bate all of a sudden, with a supply lead, might be able to swing right back in this. Let's see if he goes ahead and takes this inside, or 10 o'clock position, this 10 o'clock position. And if he can take this and continue to, oh, if he gets in this upper left-hand corner, that might be game. That might be GG. Moving up, an observer pulling out. Three tanks, a couple zealots. The army has to go down. Bate's army has to go down a ramp, so it's going to funnel in a little bit less efficiently than he probably wants it to. The zealots getting peeled out. The dragoons need to be careful because this is a lot in the way where they can just get annihilated. An arbiter moving up. Is there comsat? Okay, there is comsat to deal with it. Some zealots out of nowhere able to get on top of these siege tanks, though. And siege tanks continuing to try to defend from the right. Furious battle in the upper left-hand corner. Tanks on the low ground. Zealots on top of them almost immediately, though. And Bate pulling it out. Wow! GG from Mars. Bate stays alive to go into a game four. I gotta say, there were multiple points of this match that I thought that was it. That's it. There's no way Bate recovers. But through just superior macro management, some wonderful defenses and engagements, and a little bit of overextension from Mars... Bate able to pull it out and take game three to stay alive. It is 2-1. And we will move on to game four in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.